Okay, so to actually get in and create these views, I'm going to look for the command. It's parser view, and for the help desk position, I'm going to, I said I bound it up here to, let's see, tier 1. So I'm going to create that tier 1 view. And before you can create views, you actually have to exit out into enable mode and do enable view. It's going to prompt you for the password. This is the enable password that I talked about just a moment ago. So we'll enter that password Cisco in. Okay, so we're going to log into the enable view, the password. Okay, I'm already in there. And from here, I'm going to go into configure terminal, parser, view, and we'll create that tier 1 profile. You can see the parser view tier 1 was created. And the options here we have our commands, default, exit, no, and secret. Before we can enter any specific commands for this view, we need to set our secret password and once again we'll set that to Cisco. Now under commands, you'll see pretty much the entire list of uh, command modes here. So you see we have configure mode, uh, a lot of stuff here. We've got exec mode, we're basically going to be using configure mode, exec mode, interface mode, and I believe that's all that we we'll use for this example, but yeah, there's quite a lot there. So. The first thing we're going to start out with here is for the help desk, we're going to do the commands exec mode. So when they're in exec mode, we're going to include the command for show IP. And I also want to include show controllers and I would also like to include the show interfaces command. I'm going to change the show IP to show all IP so they can view all of the uh, IP options. The next thing I want to include here is commands exec include configure terminal so that I can get into the uh, terminal configuration mode. And when you set it up to configure which interfaces that you want to get into here, you have to do commands configure. You want to include uh, let's say we only I'll say we'll restrict this particular account this view account to only view the fast Ethernet zero zero and zero one so th those are the only two interfaces you have to specify which interface so if I just do fast Ethernet it says it's not configured or not present, so you have to specify exactly which interface you want to view or allow them to view or configure in this case. And from that configuration mode, I'll give them a few commands such as commands interface. So once you're in the interface configuration mode, we'll include uh, no and default just because those are pretty standard commands that everyone is going to be able to use and we'll let them do uh, shut down so the shutdown command is going to allow them to uh, 
administratively shut down the interface and the no command is going to allow them to bring it back up so they'll be able to use no and shut down to bring that uh, interface back up and essentially bounce the interface. We'll allow them to change the speed and we'll also give them the, the ability to configure the duplex. So those are real basic if you have uh, any sort of really extremely basic troubleshooting steps those are some things you can do I would say maybe from a tier one level uh, that that someone can not do too much harm to a configuration with but just kinda see you know change a few things around and see if you can get 